What is going on, guys? Wiser here, coming to you with the recap of one of the last wars for Invicta. Um, a couple things, actually, about uh, about this specific recap. First of all, this was our range matchup versus Cold September uh, from last weekend. Uh, I did do the recap last week with Doctor D, who actually is a Invicta and Swarm member. Uh, you know, been involved with both those clans very heavily, and has offered to step up and help me out um, because if you follow the channel and I sp spoke about this in my last 2.0 recap um, I, you notice I haven't shown a Victor recap in quite a long time uh, you know it just the time sink is getting too much for me I mean I, I'm very very busy got a daughter who's starting school full-time job new position all that stuff going on for the last you know six or eight months so it's been a struggle even just to get the 2.0 content done anyhow Dr. D is going to step up I was really hoping this war I could use this as sort of the introductory it was going to kind of co-commentate and we did but the sound was just too off I should have checked it beforehand I didn't anyhow so with that being said this recap I'm going to be literally um voicing over uh just the video footage i took all the sound out and gonna try doing it over top here so let's jump over and check out what happened 83 to 76 um was the victory to invicted now cold september had a rough day uh we've all been there um you see they uh they did have to use quite a few bullies um it's kind of funny <laughs> <laughs> Rewatching this, I was like, I'm trying to think of what I was talking about. Hey, there's only a one star in that JPW guy. Oh, one star in War Beast. So you can tell. Um, it was that domino effect that we've all been victim to in all our clans. We've all been there, right? You just, your nine struggle, then your tens got to dip and help out, and then your tens struggle a bit, and then you use your elevens to try and clean up the tens, and then tens get only hit once and it, it's just, it sucks I, we've all been there you know that definitely doesn't take anything away cold september is an awesome clan uh they've beat uh 2.0 multiple times never mind uh never mind invicta so it was a tough day for them but great day for Invicta. they really showed up to play here uh as you can see cleared it all the way down i think they only left two tens on the board up there so that looks pretty dandy all the way down i mean I just uh, such a proud day, um, proud week, I should say. We had um, Invicta beat Cold September uh, 2.0, had uh, some really good wars. They beat uh, Grand Witch Auto in their potluck spin, and literally, I just finished watching the stream. The end of the day, we just had a, a range matchup with Poetic Darkness, the Poetic Darkness, uh, and uh, 2.0. Comes away with a two-star victory. Absolutely stunning finish to the war. Uh, PD had a couple bully fails. They had to be perfect. Uh, we forced them to be perfect, and they just couldn't come through. And uh, 2.0 comes away with a victory against Poetic Darkness. Never been more proud of my family. Anyhow, checking out Heartless. Going in on Blaze here. Brings the two golems. Kind of has a bit of a mishap with this wizard placement over there. Loses it right away. But anyhow, the other wizard's going to continue on and work on that funnel. Sorry, I can't move the mouse like I'm used to because well, that'll keep popping up. Uh, but anyhow, you can see this is a, a stoned. reason why me and Doctor picked this attack is because it's like a stoned Lalo. And I thought that was very interesting. The base isn't very open. I mean, a jump spell does open up quite a bit. But with three golems, it's, um, it, was, it was just really cool how he – see that jump placement there? He's, letting, he's just walking everything from six up to the nine compartment gonna just let everything do their thing right he's taking care of now three air defense once everything gets in through that queen through that clan castle rage goes down to push everything there take out a few more buildings tesla's pop two gets a huge value out of this tesla farm as well golem's doing all the tank in there bowlers finally jump in start getting more work done boom 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 queen takes out that third air defense down it goes, so in comes the hound, the one hound he brings from the uh, sort of 10 o'clock position on that exposed air defense in right on top of it. I'm still not convinced these new meta bases that have these air defense right on the outside. Just it's far too easy to get troops right on top of them and leaving yourself open to air attack. So uh, anyhow, a little troll Tesla at the 3 o'clock, but it's not going to be any problem whatsoever. He's got so many balloons at this point. I probably wouldn't have even dropped all of those balloons. Uh, maybe kept one for, I guess, even still. Everything's left in the core. <laughs> the Heartless just smashes it. Should have had times four by now. Oh, this is going to be frustrating. Commentating over my video footage. It's like I'll be critiquing. Why didn't I fast forward by now? Why? Fast forward. It's clearly a three star. So many balloons. <laughs> and the one hound he brings didn't even burst. That was the other cool thing. 
Um, right? Like that just shows how that one exposed air to ED just really, really is not a good idea. Tree in the bag for heart. Nice job. So next up on the block, we got Bellona going in on number 27. Uh, bring in a HGHB. Yeah, looks like an HGHB. All right. In go the Giants. In come the healers behind. So uh, this is a great example of what I was talking about in one of my other recaps closer back to when they came out with this update that was sort of counterintuitive or counterproductive, whatever, whatever you want to say, to I think what they were hoping to do. Um, they... They really, I think, wanted to make bowlers and miners, I guess, less effective for Town Hall 9 and a little less effective maybe even for Town Hall 11 so that it, it try and discourage uh, spam attacks um, and then not necessarily make Town Hall 10 any more difficult because Town Hall 10 is very, 10 versus 10 is very difficult. But that didn't really happen. The air mines on the outside, as you can see, or not necessarily on the outside, but air mines targeting healers. What has it done to this attack? Absolutely nothing. Literally absolutely nothing. Yeah, his, her giants, uh, Bell's giants go up. His bowlers go, or her bowlers go down. <laughs> All the ladies in the clan, they always screw me up. <laughs> I never mean to call you he if I say it. You know that. <laughs> Anyways, but Bell's uh, giants go up, the bowlers go down, which is something you don't really want in an HHP, uh, but it doesn't really matter, right? Like, it, it really, healers were not affected at Town Hall 9 whatsoever, and I think that was really exactly the opposite effect of what they wanted, uh, because really, just bowlers are far too powerful in the clan castle of Town Hall 9, um, but Town Hall 10 versus 10 needs to be a little, maybe easier I don't know if easier is the right word. Um, it's possible. We're seeing it. I mean, it, it, I think it's it's close. It's very close to Town Hall 10. You want it to be difficult, right? But uh, if anything, they should have been the, been the ones that caught the break, <laughs> not necessarily um, Town Hall 11s who get the max miners. Town Hall 10s don't, right? So the fact that miners are underground longer meant Town Hall 10, 11s benefited from spamming miners, which is exactly the opposite of what they wanted. And Town Hall 10s became more difficult because it didn't really help level two miners as much. And now your queen charges and queen walks are really potentially uh, threatened by uh, the air mines. Anyhow, moving on. Nice treat, Bellona. What do we have next? I don't even know because I'm watching an old replay of an old video. <laughs> Let's keep this going. Come on. Come on, Wiser. Hustle this up. See, I... I I blab too much. Like I'm, I'm trying to find words to say in between here. Keep in mind, I was also doing a co recap with someone, so a lot of this I was kind of chatting with the doctor about about the war and about things. So it is unfortunate he did do the recap, like I said though, of the uh, black hand side. I believe there are feeder clan to oh, I forget. I'm so bad. Uh, but they're a good clan. Uh, Invicta did come away to victory, so I know that will be Doctor's first official video. I just got to get it uploaded. Uh, anyhow, these uh, speaking of the devil, this is Dr. D himself. I, this is why I wanted to show this attack. thought this was really cool what he did here. Just suicided his heroes in. Loses the king. Like At this point, I said, I'm like, you must have been shit in your pants at this point, man. You didn't drop the rage on the queen. That was his mistake there. He needed If the rage was on the queen, that town hall would already have been dead, and she would have been working on that stuff, been a lot higher health. But at this point, he's like, oh, shit. I don't know if I'm going to get this. But hits the ability. Defensive queen locks on. Boom. Down goes that defensive queen. And beautiful. We've now taken care of the defensive queen. He knows what's in the clan castle, and um, I believe it's a hound. Uh, doesn't doesn't do anything doesn't even come out of the clan castle uh nice little spread on his balloons first two hounds are in i like how he dropped the max hound first you do definitely if if there's a hound that doesn't burst you do not want it to be your max hound that's absolutely sure nice little raid spell look at all those balloons getting great value going on three different defenses all under that raid spell there's just good split on that Getting good value. Still has one more rage is going to go down. I believe kind of right there. Yep. Over top of that cannon and air defense. Get everything in on the third air defense there. And down it goes. Just got to take care of the arch tower. Get through this sweeper. That is the only thing that's causing him trouble. In comes the next hound. So yes, this is a penta. He has a fifth hound. He just deployed now over top this Tesla farm. Three, four, five balloons go down. Just going to walk right in on top of that archer tower. Um, unfortunately, uh, 
this guy has pretty, I mean, pretty good base design. Sorry to let that pop up. But these Teslas are in range of the air defense. These two are not. So, I mean, that, that's really good. There was just way too many balloons for that point. Uh, but fairly, fairly good base design. That was just, just, just out of range those Teslas, which is exactly what you want when you're looking to defend air. Anyways, you can see it's going to be a tree in the bag. This hound is going to burst at the exact perfect moment here in one second kablam let's take care of that expo let's take care of that wizard tower and this base is gg nice penta doctor it's the suicide heroes see wiser fast forward that shit what are you doing what are you doing there we go times four that's tree in the bag for dr d nice job man Looking forward to your recaps, buddy. I uh, watched the one that you uh, that you made the last one. Pretty good job. Just help keep the content flowing on labs. I love it. So this is JP. Uh, JP actually uh, has his 10 in a 2.0 and his uh, 9 here in Invicta. Really has been helping us out. This is the ex-leader of Power COC. Uh, him and Z-Bear came over to us uh, when they just decided they just didn't want to be leading a clan anymore it is a so much responsibility it gets tiring after a while so they ended up finding a really good home and we really appreciate having them there they're both monsters actually in the pd war both had really monster triples especially jp came in with a very very clutch 10 versus 10 triple um you know our 10s stole the show um really that's that's the story of um of the pd war for 2.0 guys it it literally we, our tens literally stole the show. I, I don't. I didn't get the official count. I'm obviously gonna get set up for the recap file. I'll probably do that tomorrow because I'm off the next two days. Um, but it, just unbelievable war. Uh, you know, PD had a few uh, teach eleven versus ten bully fails at the end. They could have tied it up, tried to force percentage at one point, and then it just uh, they just let it slip away, and we've been there. Um, so it was really really good job. Credits to the base building team. You know, just I'm so ecstatic today. We beat PD. That's unreal unreal i would have never never thought it even you know as good as uh, our guys are i watch pd just run the board on some clans and uh you know it was <laughs> we brought it gave it our best and it paid off uh you know our our team has really really come a long way and i uh love all you guys at 2.0 the whole family invicta it's awesome jp you're the best man just smash this base absolutely Good old Bo Lalo. Not much to see here. If Wiser was paying attention, he would have had a times four by now. Because that uh, definitely done. Love the wall breakers. May as well drop them. You're not going to need them later. That's tree in the bag for my man, JP. Nice job, buddy. A little revenge on cold September for you. I shouldn't say, re I don't know. Maybe it's the wrong word, but you know what I mean. <clears throat> so MBD going in on Master P. Make him say, uh. I used to listen to Master P when I was a young lad back in high school. Thought I was a, thought I was a gangster, but clearly I'm not. I'm now a 35-year-old Caucasian male with a family and uh, quite a normal life compared to what I did in high school. <laughs> but everyone comes to reality at some point. <clears throat> so enters here, same thing as Gobo Lalo, super powerful. If you can manage to get a couple air defenses, the clan castle and the CC troops talked about this since my videos from one year ago, you are in huge position to Lalo the base. Now the only difference is because you're using bowlers in your CC, you have to get a big chunk of, not just, I mean, yeah, you get those things I mentioned, but you're going to get so much more. Back when it was the shattered entry, you would literally maybe barely be getting that second air defense. Like, look at this. His queen is still in there full health with the ability taking a third air defense now and going to step up and help the balloons against this crazy Tesla farm. Gets a bunch of them in there. All the Teslas go down. Great value on the, oh, excuse me, on those balloons. Sends a couple more down at the nine o'clock. Just really need to see into that last air defense, and down it goes. See you later. Take care of the Tesla. Take care of a Wizard Tower. There's only a few more defenses down at the sort of uh, seven o'clock location that he's got to worry about, but nothing really that is going to touch that gigantic pack of balloons or his queen there. So looking good. Just a matter of cleanup at this point. 
times two. Finally, Weiser's on the ball there. Look at all the high hit point on the outside there, sort of protecting the queen chamber. I see, see, I'm I'm circling it. I guarantee I'm saying that right now. Too much high hit points, kind of on that side of the queen chamber. In my opinion, a waste of your high hit point structures. It's not how I build town hall nines for sure. Nice job, MBD tree in the bag. All right, moving on. I think we got some ten versus ten trips. Yeah, Scotty boy, or what? What am I looking at? Oh, I was looking if they had 10 versus 10 trips. I think they had one. Cause, no. No, they didn't. So, yeah. I think we only had one ourselves. I was talking about the one star. Um, this is what I was talking about earlier at the beginning of the video. Just the fact when you leave your 10 shorthanded because they need to dip quite a bit, then it sucks because... Um, you know, if you have a few struggles, some of the Town Hall 10s get left and are only able to be hit once. And it just, it was just a tough, tough, tough war for CS. Uh, um, I know they wish, uh, wish things that would have went a little bit differently. And we've all been there. Absolutely. So let's check this out. Scotty boy going out in Austin, 11 versus 11. We got level three Inferno Towers. Uh, quite a few Town Hall 10 defenses in there. Um, level four expos as well. Nice job with that. So uh, fairly strong base. Uh, Scotty boy is just gonna drop a uh, clan castle full of giants. Open up the wall. Let everything into that twelve o'clock compartment. And because that compartment sort of is very large, there's um, there's a lot of lot of leeway for the giants to go. Uh, even though he has some sort of some bowlers kind of walk here, that baby drag takes out that elixir storage just at the right time. Everything reroutes back up and in to this gigantic compartment where the jump spell is down, connecting all the way down to the both inferno towers. So that is really the key weakness to the base is that jump spell right there, and the fact that you can get in via that twelve o'clock compartment using only wall breakers. Now. You're, you're basically allowing access to both your infernos, all or most of your expos, almost the entire base, right? If you get, that's why you chose bowlers here, because um, even if you're going to do that, you're going to have to protect this with bombs, and even then, uh, I don't think that's a great uh, defense. You just need, uh, ideally, you need sort of a moat around this top section, so they can't do the, can't get in with just wall breakers and a jump. Uh, so that ended up being the demise here. Scotty Boy picks that weakness out and absolutely goes to town with it. Hits that queen ability down in that six o'clock apartment. Takes care of like four point defense there. Still has healers on her. She's going to work through that wall and finish off those defenses. Got bowlers on the outside. Baby dragon on the other side doing cleanup. Drops a few archers to help that situation out a little bit. It's definitely going to be a three in the bag for Scotty boy. Oh, there goes that black mine on that healer. It's just not enough. That cannon goes down. The last defense remaining. A few trash buildings to go. Good value on that baby drag. I'm pretty sure that baby drag came from like like up here somewhere and went all the way down and around. So very nice hit, Scotty Boy. It's tree stars in the bag. Boom. All right, guys. Um, is there one more? I don't think there was. I think the rest were bullies. Uh, but thank you for the war. Cold September. I know, uh, like I said, I know it was a tough day for you guys. Uh, we've all been there. Uh, say that firsthand. Uh, score does not uh, whatsoever dictate uh, how good of a clan you guys are over there. So till we meet again, uh, I think this is probably between our family, like maybe the sixth time we faced. Um, so I know what's going to happen again. Uh, and I know uh, you're not going to leave uh, our top half looking like it did because uh, – you know, that's just just not who you guys are, and I uh, I know that for a fact. So Invicta, I think, got off uh, kind of lucky. We caught you on a bad day. But, uh, yeah, I think that'll do it here for your wisdom from Wiser Guys. I'm uh, just trying to help you bag that next tree star. Until then, I'm out.